Hello, Sillaholics, and welcome to Sillaholics Anonymous. I am Shakia. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy the content of this video. If you are a subscriber, thank you for the support and welcome back. In this quick tutorial, this is going to be great for beginners. I'm going to show you how to create and size a template for pretty much anything if it's a basic shape. But in this case, it's going to be a keychain. Now, this is ideal when you are provided the sizes of your template. If wherever you purchase your template from did not come with the sizing for it and didn't give you an exact size, you can always use a ruler to measure it and then input those dimensions into Silhouette Studio. If you would like to create a an exact, excuse me, an exact template, what you can do if you have a scanner is place that substrate onto your scanner bed and scan that in and then open up that JPEG in Silhouette Studio and then do a trace on it. We're not gonna go over that particular method. I'm just gonna show you how to create a basic shape to create your template. Okay, um, I was sent this from a subscriber and on this one, they have the sizes of the actual keychains. So you're gonna just take these numbers and turn them into templates. To create the circle one, you're gonna to come to the panel on your left-hand side, go down to your shapes, and you're gonna click on the ellipse tool and begin to draw. Now, this is a perfect circle. So what you want to do is hold down shift and then just make a circle any size. Doesn't really matter what size it is. Then you're gonna come up here to the top, lock that in place, and you're going to make this 1.97. Enter, it's going to automatically proportionally change the other side as well. This is the size of the actual substrate. Now, if you would like to um, size it up so that you know where the hole is, if you have the picture, you can simply place it there so that you don't put anything like in that area. We're gonna take another circle, place it about here, hold down shift. If you put it right in the middle, you can hold down shift and alt and kind of bring that circle out, okay? And I'm gonna line that up just to be on the safe side. All right, we have that. We're gonna go ahead and um, group this together. The next thing that you're going to want to do is make an offset if you are going to do a full coverage, a full bleed on your keychain. You would come over to the panel on your right hand side, come down to this star, it's your offset panel, you're going to hit offset and you're going to offset the design. Um, actually, you know what, I'm sorry, let's undo this real quick. Let's make this a compound path, okay? So let's go here, right click, make it a compound path so that the circle is actually cut out. We're now going to do an offset and it doesn't have to be that big of an offset. That's totally up to you. If I bring this down to let's say 0.1, um, you're not gonna really see a lot in here because of the size of it you can make your offset or your bleed area as big or as small as you would like. Just note that you know, you'll know you have to really size it up when you put it down on your substrate. So if we did 0 0.025, you'll see like the little circle there, but that is totally up to you in what size you make your offset. For things like this, it doesn't have to be too big. My go-to is probably gonna be around like 0 0.05, just a little bit of an offset and we're gonna hit apply. This is where you would put your design at. So whether it is filled with color, if you are adding pictures to it or anything like that, you would add that to like your background, you would add it to the offset to make sure it goes to the edge and add any text and pictures in here. Um, if you're gonna crop anything, all of your other design techniques you would do inside of this. This is not about designing, this is simply about how to create the template. 
if you want it to go over here and add a background that is preloaded um, into your library, there is a video on how to do this. You would simply um, fill your background in with, you know, with fill it in with your desired background. All right, so that's how you would do that one and then proceed to design on it. As for the other ones, let's go to the rectangle one. It is 2.36 by 1.57. You're going to come back over here to the draw, the uh, excuse me, shape tool. Click on the first one, which is your draw rectangle, and you're just going to put a box. Again, doesn't matter what size it is. For this one, you will not lock the aspect ratio. We're going to make our width 1.57. And you're going to make the height 2.36. I'm going to place this right over here, over this. And just kind of line the top. This may not line up exactly, but they're giving you the dimensions. I'm going to come back over here to my circle tool. And we're going to go hold down Shift and Alt. Bring that out to get a roundabout feel of where that circle is going, well, that hole is going to be for your ring. And then let's select these two. We're going to make it a compound path and place a bleed on it or an offset of the same value. And again, that is totally up to you and what value you put on it. So we're going to go um, 0.05. And there is my bleed for that, and I can fill that in with color or a background. The last one is a bit of a slant, but it's going to basically be a square. You're going to come back to the draw tool. You're going to go to the rectangle again, and we're going to make it a perfect square by holding down shift and then making a perfect square. You're going to come up here, and because it is a perfect square, let's go ahead and lock that so we only have to change one side. And we're going to make that 1.97. Let's go ahead and rotate this 45 degrees. So you're going to come over here to your transform panel, go up to rotate, and rotate it 45 degrees. Okay, so there is that. It, this one is a little bit off, but your actual keychain is going to be about 45 degrees. Okay, I'm going to line this up as best I can. And I'm just going to make that circle. Just kind of follow the size of it. And then let's select them both. Come over here to transform again. Go to that first one, and let's just align it to the center. That should be pretty good with where that hole is. And we're going to make this a compound path, and then do our offset. Um, I think 0 0.075 will probably be a better one because this does have a rounded... Um, edge here and you want to make sure that you cover all of that so 0 0.075 for this one as well as the rectangle one would work or you could just simply go to maybe 0.0 I'm sorry not 0 0.01 0.1 is it point yes 0.1 okay and you can go there just to give yourself a little bit more space and then hit apply and you can fill this in with whatever color gradient or background that you desire all right guys hopefully this helped you understand how you can create your own templates once you have the dimensions of it and how to create your bleed if you are doing a full coverage design for your keychain if you have not already go ahead and hit that subscribe button leave a comment and let me know if this was helpful for you i'm also thumbs up the video, and share it out. All right, guys, until next time, have a great one. Peace.